Hello everyone, welcome back to Cogent English. Dear HSA aspirants, uh, you might have noticed that I started uh, HSA English Module 8, Teaching of English Module 8, I started and uh, I think in YouTube channels, I did not see much videos from Module 8. So here I started and I already you know, created videos, almost uh, 4 to 5 videos I created from the same module. This is the second part of language acquisition and learning by Krushen and you can expect one or two questions from this theory. So now I am going to explain the second part and here the five hypotheses of Krushen in connection with acquisition and learning. Here I explain all the five hypotheses with my own example for your better understanding. So you can watch it and uh, comment below if there is any, if you need more videos in connection with Krushen, just comment below. So let's get started. All right, and it is the second part of Kushan's theory of second language acquisition. And here I'm going to explain the five hypotheses uh, in connection with language, second language learning. So the first one is uh, acquisition learning hypothesis, which I have already explained in the first video. And second one is monitor hypothesis. And third one, natural order hypothesis. Fourth one, input hypothesis. Fifth one, affective filter hypothesis. So let us go through one by one. Acquisition learning hypothesis, it's already explained. So acquisition is like a subconscious process where, you know, we are not bothering about anything and it learns automatically like an unconscious manner and without any effort like how a child learns to speak a language whereas uh, in learning learning is knowing about a language and it involves a traditional approach of rules of grammar a list of new vocabulary words etc which requires a conscious effort so acquisition learning hypothesis number one now we'll go for number two, monitor hypothesis. Language fluency comes from what we have acquired in natural communication situations. Formal knowledge of language rules does not create fluency. Formal knowledge allows language learners to plan and monitor, uh, like language use when speaking. Formal knowledge allows language learner to plan and monitor language use when speaking so here in short you know a language learner once he learned the rule he will always you know think before he speak because you know just for example you know where to use has and have and the language for example how to create a sentence by using has and have the language learner knows it well so he will use his brain his brain will be the monitor and to speak so sometime you know whenever we have the fear of even monitor hypothesis may may lead a negative effect too in the way i make a mistake in my speech uh, what would others will think about me so this kind of thinking also you know that negatively affect our uh, mind so monitor hypothesis means what in short our brain will control and whatever we learned and what the rules and everything you know that will you know we will remember and the, our brain will monitor us all right that is monitor hypothesis now natural order hypothesis natural order hypothesis acquisition of grammar follows a natural order that is predictable natural order seems to be independent of age first language culture etc and Russian does not recommend a programmed approach when acquisition is the goal so here natural order hypothesis uh, according to Russian it is there are many instances in our life you know we have to do there are many instances in our life uh, to do the things in order but most of the things are you know that comes automatically in our day-to-day -day life we are doing a lot of things a lot of things in our life so though many things are we have to do in order right many things we should do in order for example if i say that like how to wear a shirt so we know how to wear a shirt that we don't want to know there are many you know, steps in it but that automatically comes in our, in our subco subconscious mind it comes by like an acquisition 
so this is what we call natural order there are many things and likewise our second language learning also it will come automatically without thinking more about the rules that is natural order hypothesis input hypothesis related to acquisition not learning learner makes progress along the natural order when exposed to input a step beyond the current stage so here i would like to highlight the term input uh, here i would like to share that input in the sense just i will take an example a classroom okay an english teacher should speak in english all right so if an english teacher speak in his mother tongue or her mother tongue the children will not get and they cannot follow you and they will not admire your the language which you speak whereas if you speak as an english if you speak good english in the classroom everybody you know admire you and the children uh, might have uh, you know interest in your language so that is what you know input we, we give a good input and like good ambience or good platform for learning a second language definitely it will affect it will effective to the children too that is input hypothesis how we the input and output if we give good input we will get a good output that's all the final one affective filter hypothesis affective filter hypothesis the title also just to give, uh, check it out affective filter hypothesis the emotions of a language learner can interfere or assist with language acquisition here so one example public speaking can cre uh, create anxiety anger and embarrassment negative emotion can create a filter that blocks new information so classrooms need to be engaging and non threatening to increase motivation and encourage risk taking so this affective filter hypothesis with an example i would like to mention here for example in the classroom a student is being insulted by uh, his or her classmates or from the teacher the child never ever improve right the child child may have the fear to speak in english so this situation we need to avoid it this affect we should not destroy a child emotionally thank you these are the main hypothesis of uh, uh, question thank you for watching and this is the last video and really if you did not subscribe my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon for my latest video notification thank you